Cool Christmas. I forgot about that one. Cool Christmas is um, he's one I'm really trying to push. I really want to push the legend of Cool Christmas so that years from now, and this will be our gift to the world. I mean, you'll be mostly getting credit for it, Jonathan. Me? Yeah. Why? Well, it depends which way it goes. <laughs> um, you know, years from now, children will not put out a, uh, uh, you know, mince pies and, and, and a bit of whiskey or whatever it is in America, people do in America. What do you cookies leave out? Cookies and milk because we're pure and Oh, uh, cookies and milk because you're fucking little wet blankets. Yeah. Uh, in my, in the old country. God forbid he get behind the the sleigh, you know, drunk. Get behind the reins. Exactly. You know, oh we, no. We've put out an entire bottle of Smirnoff and a rack of uncooked hamburgers, which Santa would eat because he's hard and tough. <laughs> he doesn't care about getting mad cow disease. Anyway, so we put instead of cookies and milk mm. for Sandy Claus. Kids can put out paternity tests for Cool Christmas. I don't know if you've heard of Cool Christmas, listeners. Cool Christmas is a, a holiday figure that I worship. Um, he's a man called Cool Christmas, and he's so cool. He goes around everywhere saying his own name so that we know he is cool. He goes, Cool Christmas. Hey, everybody, it's me. Cool Christmas. Yeah. Like that. He's got an afro hair and a moustache. He looks... Don't worry, kids. He's white. (laughs) Uh, Just to keep up the Fox News thing. He's white. He's got an afro wig, but don't be confused. Put the shotgun down, Bono. He's wearing... To be honest, he's he's just dressed like the 70s. Got a medallion. Got a lot of chest hair. Got a, a... yellow plaidy suit jacket with big collars and he goes around going, yeah hey everybody and and he makes love to beautiful women all the time and he's like he, he refuses to wear a condom uh which is what christmas is all about birth R- refu- oh right sure yeah he has sex with women and doesn't care about their needs that's the point of him is he worried uh, about getting diseases, or is it similar to the hamburger? Uh, where in he's his just... words, cool Christmas getting diseases? <laughs> no. Cool Christmas is the disease. The disease are loving. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a strong point. Yeah, so, yeah. He uh, overcomes yeah. illness by just claiming to be um, a, a, a concept based virus. And that, again, that's part of what Christmas is all about. Um,. He will not accept any claims of of parenthood. That's the important part about this. So when you're teaching... I know some young parents listen to uh, the Dismal Jesters may want to pass this on to their kids, start a family tradition. You do got to point out that you got to tell your kids, if you're a father listening to this, that you might not be that kid's father, but Cool Christmas will never take the paternity test. Hey, I'm cool Christmas. I'm too busy making love to be paying for child support. Get out of my face, woman. I made love with you, and now I'm out the door to make love to someone else. You're damn right. Cool uh, Christmas. Fuck why, do the, why, do, why do the women want to make love with him at all? Because he's cool. <laughs> I want to make love to him. To cool Christmas? <laughs> Have you heard him? His rich, buttery voice. I mean, who wouldn't? I don't want to. He he doesn't sound Uh, warm uh, or caring at all. Shut up, Jonathan. You want to have thousand sex with me forever and for ages? Jeez, I can't (laughs) do it today because I got so many beautiful women to have sex with and get pregnant. Not get pregnant. <laughs> Don't you he be seems... coming around here looking for alimony payments? Not for me, no, sir. Take the red pill. He seems selfish a little. He seems, yeah. He seems like he's really he's only worried selfish, about himself. Uh, Not... Materialistic, uh, misogynistic. Uh, he's really the Christmas spirit. Really, absolutely. 
his old-fashioned traditionalist in a way that's harmful to people who aren't him. Uh, highly privileged. And we love him because he's cool. Do, do we look up to his confidence or something? Like, why do people like anyone who's cool? Because they're usually cold emotionally. We they aspire to be him. Why? Because he's on top? Hey. Typically. Sometimes I'm sat in a chair and she's riding me like a cowboy. <laughs> I forget the name of that one. I think it's called the cowboy. Cowboy sex position, you mean? The cowboy sex position is one of my favorite sex positions. But all my sex positions are my favorite sex positions because they're sexy. No, woman! I ain't gonna take no DNA test. Get that swab out of my face. She was gonna swab his face. Yeah, and they're like, see your son. He asks after you every day. Cool Christmas. Stop making love to beautiful women and come and see your son. Why do you deny him? Come and see him for Christmas, please. And he goes... (laughs) I think this was the story of a recent Vince Vaughn movie. Yeah. It probably was. Yeah, he just... uh, A woman was like, you have 800 children! And he's like, I fucked you all? I think it was called Fuck Fuck You All or something. (laughs) Question mark. I, I was just talking about this with Jordan yesterday, my, my roommate Jordan, um, mm. about how Vince Vaughn is just not entertaining at all. And there's, like, uh, we can't seem to understand how it is that he has a continuing career. Mm. Uh, that That's the sort of movie that almost anyone would have made better. Like George Went. Like George Went <laughs> in that role. For those who don't know, George Went. Fucking uh... amazing. Uh, overweight man, friend of the mailman on Cheers. Yeah, Norm. Sure he was right? Norm on Cheers. Oh, that yeah. would be funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He that would be entertaining. Sure. Yeah, Paternity man. My first thought was Seth Rogen, but then I went George Went, and I really think he's the better choice. I think you made a, 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 an upgrade with that decision. <laughs> mm. He was, uh, the, the reason people like Vince Vaughn is because he is very cool. He doesn't give emotionally he's self-centered but in a charming witty way and with a tone that speaks to the idea that he just doesn't care guys yeah he would he'd make a good he would make a good cool christmas he'd make a good like a like a mole cool christmas (laughs) a a mole cool christmas mole like like you get mole santas like when you be a santa oh yeah he would be a mole cool christmas (laughs) I think he did Come play. Come and sit on my ladies. Yeah, yeah. You go to the cool Christmas, and um, it's not to a, not get impregnated. Exactly. In the mall. It's not a grotto. It's just like a big uh, pink and yellow van. That's in the mall. Yeah. yeah just like a Wario. Yeah. Oh, that Wario. Uh, it'll be yeah. like it, like a, it'll be the the the, the Christmas fuck wheels. So you don't go to Santa's Grotto, I'm going to go to Cool Christmas's Fuck Wheels. And you get in the back of the van and you sit on his lap and Vince Vaughn could be playing him in the Hollywood Mall. Mm. And be all like, hey, what do you want for Christmas? And they give him the presents that they're going to do. And he goes, ha, 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 you ain't getting any of that shit. Fuck off. <laughs> I disrespect kids <laughs> like I disrespect women. Who wants to have sex with me now? And then beautiful women go in the van and he has sex with them all. Why do they want to have sex with him? I don't know. He's cool? It's a tradition. Yeah. Oh, the tradition. Again, it's Christmas. We don't know why we do half the things we do. We don't even like doing them, but we've got to do it because it's Christmas. Mm. So it's like buying a gift for your co It's just a queue of women sadly getting into the van to have sex with Vince Vaughn. Why? Because it's Christmas. No one wants to have sex with Vince Vaughn, but they've all got to do it. Because that's tradition. That's family values. I'm picturing the John Lennon song about Christmas, where he's like, I hope you had fun. Playing uh, at the same time as the Paul McCartney song about Christmas, which is really from the devil. Do you guys know that one? Ah. The Paul McCartney song about Christmas? Oh, yeah, the um, simply having a wonderful Christmas time. That one, the one they did with wings. Oh, okay. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, got that, a. That is horrible. I'm picturing those playing at the same time while Vince Vaughn is like trying to look serious. 
while he's having sex with a woman, and she's just frowning. And she's frowning. He's shaved. not happy with it. Yeah, he's. He, I'm imagining he's putting on his best face. Yeah, like Vince Vaughn. You know, he's very much unlike um, the characters he plays or Cool Christmas. He's a sensitive lover. Um, he only ever likes it when it's right for him. Mm. Um, he's got to know someone before he gets intimate and opens up his special flower. <laughs> sure. Like Christmas comes round and he's there in the van like some sort of concubine just sprawled out with his afro wig on and his 70s disco shades legs apart erect turgid feeling cheap as women line up and squat miserably on top of him Ugh, that is horrible yeah yeah, and, was, and uh, everyone's keeping up this for so the, the men are outside, fathers, husbands, boyfriends. Mm. They're all sad. Who do they have sex with? No one. No one. They just have to listen to their uh, other halves just having sex with Vince Vaughn. Chafy, um, frowny sex. Yeah, yeah, I was going to include mothers and uh, girlfriends of girls in the crowd of sad people, but they're in the line. Oh, they're just, the sad just in the line. Just pissed off. <laughs> just pissed off. Like, no one's forcing them to be there. The only thing forcing everyone in this situation is social expectation. Yeah, the contract we all make with each other on Christmas. Yeah, the ridiculous. To abide by tradition. Yeah. yeah. It's like, I, I want to have an angry whopper on Christmas Day. Am I gonna? No, because it's Christmas. If I can't have an angry whopper, Vince Vaughn's got to be forced to have sex with everyone in LA. That sounds totally reasonable. <laughs> it's, it's the only fair trade that a human has had. And if you don't do it, people ask you, you know, like you go to Walmart, and they're like, Merry Christmas, you fuck Vince Vaughn? And they're like, <laughs> I don't celebrate that holiday. What? Oh my god. Oh you know, my god. Very, very the war got, on cool Christmas. Yeah, I was going to say, you got Bill O'Reilly on Fox News saying, cool Christmas, who is white, and has not had sex with everyone in LA. This is an anti-Christian sentiment. This is people saying happy holidays instead of I'm going off to the mall to have sex with Vince Vaughn against everyone's better judgment and desire. And he brings on experts who are just friends of his to come on and agree. Yes, it is bad. It's a uh, defying of the values our country was built upon. Exactly. Uh, vagina was nowhere near the cock of Vince Vaughn. Uh, the fact that she dared. <laughs> to... Sorry, I'm amusing myself now. <laughs> <laughs> this is a country founded on the values of having sex with Vince Vaughn. Our ancestors came and founded this land to get away from our evil overlords in the United Kingdom who wouldn't let us have sex with Vince Vaughn. And now we get them no good Democrats saying we don't have to have sex with Vince Vaughn if we don't want to. Well, I won't stand for it. Obama, <laughs> tell everyone they gotta have sex with Vince Vaughn. Make it the law. Because I believe, I believe the government shouldn't get involved in things unless I want them to be for something that I would like to see everyone doing. So make them all have sex with Vince Vaughn. Poor Vince Vaughn is in the middle of all this, appearing on television shows saying things like, well, I didn't want to fuck those girls, but I, I'm sorry that I didn't. I guess I fucked as many as I could. I, I, Bill O'Reilly, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> what would he even say to Bill O'Reilly? How could he face Bill O'Reilly? Forgive me. He could forgive me, Bill O'Reilly. And Bill O'Reilly would just like fold his arms and then just look away. <laughs> Head raised. I shun you. That's all Bill O'Reilly says. You barely audible. You just hear it through the microphone. Just just I shun you. And then Vince Vaughn just like reaches out a grasping hand toward Bill O'Reilly and, and it hangs there. Oh, wow. And over the course of 20 minutes, the image slowly fades to black. And that's the last ever Bill O'Reilly show on Fox. 
<laughs> because Vince Vaughn sh- ruined Christmas. Because Bill O'Reilly shot himself on Christmas Eve. Because <laughs> because no, one woman in LA didn't have sex with Vince Vaughn. <laughs> Yeah, it's, uh, it's the beginning <laughs> of the end for American culture. Works. Oh, I don't know. It's, it's fine. such bullshit. 